started, um, well, I started making music when I was 15, and it was just kind of like something me and my friend did. His name's Griffin, and we, we like, we were just like young kids, like, we, we loved a, like really fast electronic music, hardcore, happy hardcore music. And we started making that because we downloaded Fruity Loops, it's really simple. And then from there, you know, we just got better and better at the technical side of things. And it was just like, from there it was just, we, we moved on to different styles. I started making more like progressive house, kind of like trancey stuff. And then he went to college. So he stopped producing, but I kept producing. So now we're here. Um, well, I'm really inspired by other music, but more specifically, different genres of music. I, I listen to a lot of hip hop and even like, you know, anything from classic rock to classical music. You know, I listen to so many different styles. So I think that inspires me probably the most. But it could be anything. It could be like going somewhere, you know what I mean? Like going to London or something, you know, it's like that inspires me because it's like I see so many different places. It's like all that culture, it just kind of gives you little ideas of what you want it to sound like. Well, I think if you're going to start making music, start on something like Fruity Loops because it's really easy. Well, FL Studio. It's really easy to use and it's like, it's fun. It's really fun to use, you know, it's just drag and drop everything. But if you want to get a little more like on the more precise mixing side of things, I'd say maybe use Logic or something, because when I moved to Logic, everything kind of changed. But I think it's good to start with FL, for sure. So I'd say recommendation, Fruity Loops, try synthesizers like Silence and Massive and easy stuff. Try to learn to make your own presets and stuff. Um, I first got involved, well, I've been a fan myself of the music for years, you know. I have an Andrew Beach t-shirt as well. I was a fan before I was part of the label, so. Um, my first track that I sent them was, actually I've been sending them demos for like a couple years, and I actually, my first track I signed with them was Eventide, which actually, when I sent them, when I sent it to uh, Injuna Beats originally, they didn't sign it, they didn't want it, and then after the weekend, they decided that they wanted to sign it. So, I mean, I don't know where I'd be now if I didn't sign it, but glad they did. So that's kind of how I got involved with them. Um, well, it's kind of typical for producers to think that their new track is always a winner, but I didn't expect it to do what it did. I didn't expect the people that played it to play it. You know, I didn't, I think, anyone from you know David Guetta to even Knife Party and it's just like all that kind of support was really unexpected I didn't expect that at all but I was really happy that it got that kind of different genre support and stuff so yeah I didn't expect it to be what it was so I'm really happy with it. Probably something in the fashion world because um, I don't know I just really love I, I don't know I guess they kind of go hand in hand Something, it would have to be something artistic though, because I'm not really good with with anything mathematic or, you know, anything else that's tedious. I like to express, you know, myself, so it has to be artistic. Well, it's tough. I would just have to say Iris because every time I play that one, it to me is one of the biggest tracks of the night and I think it's because it, it's it's a lot like Wayfair but it's also it, to me it's like a really it's like a whole different version like a whole swing on that style that that sound you know and whenever I play it live it's just like the energy is just the, the biggest of the night that's I think that's probably why it's my favorite but I have to say that Leaving You is probably my my most proud track because the vocal and it's just like everything I did on that as well was just it was just, to me, it came perfectly. But Iris, I would say, instrumentally, would be like my favorite track I've ever done. You know, I, I'm always gonna try different stuff. Like, I'm never gonna just make the same style over and over again, but, you know, I see it kind of going into something more, um, 
vocal and I, I always like working with vocals because it's just like to me that's more of a song than just like you know a baseline track or something that doesn't last long you know I like to make tracks that that are that can last you know years and years at least to try to so that's probably where it's gonna go melodic always though so well the whole tour was was pretty crazy with Mr. Maurer there, but um, you know, I think every night was just like its own unique thing because everywhere we went we met all sorts of different people and the craziest thing we did is just so hard to say. Overall the tour was amazing. We didn't just drink, we had fun too. So. Um, my favorite venue. You know, it, it's really hard to say. I really like playing uh, Exchange in LA. I thought that's, I think that's a really cool venue. But honestly, every venue I find something good about. You know, it's like they're all different and good in their own way. Um, I did just play in El Paso, Texas, on the Morgan Page tour, and it was just like I have to say, it was like noticeably an amazing show because the crowd was just like insane like it's just like and it, I don't care where I play if the crowd is good it's always going to be an amazing show so that's what I'm all about um I don't at the moment but I'm definitely starting to become more open to collaborate because like I'm really kind of a control freak when I produce and I've tried to collaborate in the past and it's like it's just hard for me because I just like feel like everything needs to be exactly a certain way and then and they want it to be a certain way and it's just like, it's no offense, it's just like, for me I'm just so, uh, what's the word, I'm so OCD with everything that it has to be a certain way, you know, and so I'll never feel like the track is complete if, it, if it's not done in the formula that I do all my other tracks. So. I, I definitely am going to start doing more collaboration stuff. So. I'd like to work more in, in the studio physically with producers rather than on the internet. So. Thanks guys for sending in all your questions and thanks for listening to my music from day one. So, see you all around the world.